Hello, people, and welcome to the B-Strong Commuter Motovlog! How are you doing, Mike? It's been a long time, but yeah. I wasn't gonna do this one, but I got back and I had a gin, and now we're here. I gotta run the light, run that, bitch, run that! Yeah. So, here we are. We're going back home. It's Monday. I have the case of the Mondays, but it's Tuesday. So what are you gonna say? Tomorrow, I'm very excited because tomorrow we're gonna shoot a video, actually two videos that we need to do for work. So I'm gonna finally test my Canon Sun 1DC. Hi! I'm so happy about it, man. I'm so happy about it because I've been testing it but I've been shooting plants and my mice and myself playing PlayStation. So I was testing how much, uh, how much the battery, I, got, I had to get a new battery. I was, testing, I was testing how much I can shoot with it in a real situation of star and stopping, star and stopping in a long shooting day, you know, eight hours or something. So I shoot myself <clears throat> playing a, a, a car game. <laughs> so because, yeah, racing is all about trying, trying and twitching either parts of the engine or of the suspension of, or the tires or the aerodynamics to make the car uh, perform better for that particular racetrack. So yeah, tomorrow I'm testing the camera, finally in a real situation, so with the perfect lighting and the perfect set, the perfect infinity that you get when everything is just white, you know? I'm talking about that, talking about the color that reflects all the light. So, as the opposite of black, that doesn't reflect anything, white reflects everything. So, what is happening in the United States? How did we get to this point when a president with fake color on its skin, fake orange color, that doesn't reflect any real human with fake hair. How come the president of the United States is a dude that looks so fake? And this is just an external quantification of what I see. I don't know him personally, but if you look at him, that fake orange color that you can tell the difference in between the layers of skin and the bold fake wave in front of it he also married a woman that was famous or became famous for wearing fake paint on her face and walk in a way that is unnatural. So this is the president of the United States. Just reading his, his Twitter comments before he came president show or shows that he's a person with a lot of double standards. And that reflects what is happening now in America? How come the coronavirus brought this other next issue? 
What is happening over there? I don't understand. But God damn it, if you put your knee and all your weight in my neck, that is gonna hurt, man. Any man will fucking cry for that, bro. How could you keep doing it, man? I will have to defend myself. I would have used all my years of training to get out of that situation because it's too painful, man. How could you do that to another human, man, for so fucking long, man? And you kill a brother like that in front of fucking everybody, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? And that's because the fucking president, man. He allowed that with himself. He allowed all this to happen, man. It was like a... It was always a slippery slope, man. How are you gonna get back, man? How are you gonna get out of the bunker now? How did I get to that point that there's such a big statement on the fucking road? So big that it cannot be captured with a normal camera and a wide angle lens. You need an aerial shot to see that black life matters, man, because every fucking life matters, man. We're all immigrants. We are all immigrants. It's just time what makes it different from all the factors. You're just considering time to declare who is and who is not. That is not supposed to be like that. That's not what people fight, fight, fight fucking wars for, man. You see in Saving Private Ryan, I'm a fucking pussy. I wouldn't have come out of the boat fucking with my little machine gun facing a fucking mountain of destructive fucking bigger machine guns than you, man. I won't tolerate if you put your, your knee against my neck on the floor. I won't tolerate it, man. I'm sorry. It's human nature. And by doing that, you're just trying to repress that human reaction. And this brother knew it, and he fucking, he could have pushed up, pushed out of that man. He could have bench pressed. With all that adrenaline, he could have bench pressed, man. He didn't do it because he was big, man. This motherfucker was tight, man. Like Kali, man, like Kai. Like Kai that came out of prison. He didn't do it because he knew that the way he looks was already such a big threat. Man, that fucking broke my heart. I don't watch the news, man, but in Reddit it was such a big deal that I saw the story. Man, you cannot put your knee full weight to another dude, man, and feel good about it. I think, I think you have a, such a an asshole of a boss that probably you have to do that to prove yourself, you know? That shit is, is poison. What do you expect from a human, man? I, this is not right. This is definitely not right. I had to come back to the topic of last time because uh, 21 pilots, it has changed my life in so many deep ways that I feel younger, you know. I feel five years younger. But now, unfortunately, with all the drinking that I've been doing, I've gained five years. So, even Steven, you know. I 
love this song. From 21 Pilots, man. I'll play it for you a little bit. Hopefully, I won't get in trouble. It's called Guns for Hands. And this song made me remember when I traveled to America, to Disneyland with my kids and my wife. That feeling that here, any motherfucker can have a gun. I don't have this feeling in Australia. In Peru I did, because criminals have guns. And good people that wanna defend themselves from criminals have guns. So, guns too. But it's hard to get a gun. You know this song, Gun for Hands. I love it, man. So, I feel younger, thank you to this band. So, this is how I feel about this uh, issue, you know, in America with the guns and this is going crazy. But they also have this song called My Blood. <laughs> this song uh, hits me very hard because I remember back in the day in high school when I was uh, coming out of, of training with my friends we got assaulted, we got robbed. No, not sexually assaulted, we got robbed. And they took all my backpack, my swimming gear, my, my school gear, my shoes, you know, my chain. But like, a, I also saw my friends run. I wasn't prepared for that, you know because I was prepared to fucking fight and survive as a pack, you know. But there were too many, you know. We were three, three blokes, man. Both of them told me at the end, man, sorry, Chino, man. Sorry, they look at me like, fuck, sorry. And I understood because probably I would have run too or not. If somebody will fight with me, I will fucking fight, you know. But they were running. They were kicking my ass, so I was like on my knees trying to protect myself and they stripped the backpack and my shoes and the other, the swimming gear and, you know. But fucking shit, man. When I was like getting beaten, I kept thinking, man, stay with me, man. Please stay with me. But they all run for their life, man. There were so many that they closed the doors, the big doors, the car entry for for the school. You know. Probably it was like a you know like a whole ghetto gang going to fight another ghetto gang because they had the machetes and all the fucking artillery. We were just, you, we were caught when the, all the fucking gang was walking to fight the other gang, you know, for territory or whatever, you know. So man, these 20, 21 pilots, man, hit me hard because they have great songs like Tear My Heart, you know. Everybody that loves a woman has to love this song, man. Sometimes you gotta bleed a nose. No. I'm alive, she's a tearing my heart. I'm on fire, she's a tearing my heart. Take me wider. Songs on the radio are okay. I don't really listen to your 
to the radio. But my tasting music is your face, you know. So, man, another song from these motherfuckers. Hopefully, please don't take this out of YouTube. I'm trying to cut less than four or five bars, so you know the song algorithm doesn't fucking figure it out. I'm gonna put also the. I'm taking over my body, over the control of my shorty. I don't even know what that means, but I'm loving this band, man. So I don't mean that this is the only band ever. I'm gonna find more, you know? Like I already found one that is called The Do, and the song is called Despair, Hangover, and Ecstasy. I don't know why, but that three I like that song, man. It's pretty cool. So I just want music to inspire you, man. Trying to do this a better place, you know. We're getting here to the intersection in Military Road. I don't have to go. the left and stop on Aldi because I already have some gin at home. They have a great song like another one is called Cut My Lip. I don't know if you heard it. You have to keep on trying or you might as well. Always you have to keep trying to the next step or to get better or something, you know? Only people that don't like you will try to stop you. Otherwise, they will have to push you further. What's the fucking point otherwise, man? I gotta keep moving. I don't know if that's exactly lyrics, but yeah. This corona has to stop, man, at some point, you know. We have to find a better way after learning the mistakes, you know. I, I'm not I'm anyone. I'm anyone to make a comment about the American situation, but man, some things over there are like a, so unjust, you know. I almost migrated to fucking America, man. Oh, with my anxiety, all these people with guns will make me fucking have a gun too, and then I will have to have two, and then with the kids, because I have kids, I will have to have a big fucking, uh, you know, like a closet with the code, with the, like a safe. But the problem is that if you have that big thing with the code, it's not only uh, useless anymore, because till the motherfucker robber come in, till you go and put the code, he's like, darling, what was the number? Uh, three, four, eight, uh, what? What, well, I can't hear you, what? No, come here, tell me the, the robber. You will be dead. That's a Jim Jeffries joke, so God bless his soul, he's an awesome motherfucker, we love him. So you know it will be useless, but, but, about the guns. I'm a lion, you know, I do what I want. So if I already have a closet with two guns, Maybe I need a shotgun now, because it's long, you know? And then, after the shotgun, what? Probably I need a grenade, you know, in case the fucking eight motherfuckers come to rob me at once when they eight a grenade, you know? So if I have the grenade and the shotgun, well, what if a second, a second wave of robbers come? So I need an MP5, you know, like a little machine gun, like But without the long form, so I can turn corners, you know? You know what I know all these motherfuckers because I play Call of Duty. Life 
is not Call of Duty. I cut my lip. I don't worry that means cut my lip. But the next part really hit me hard. And this is not a cry for help. It's just a celebration to fucking life. <laughs> it's funny how when we start the way home is a uh, is daylight, you know. But then by the time that we almost get there, it's already night time. Isn't that crazy? Think about it. Yeah, it's called the sunset. So, I'm almost home. This maneuver makes me an asshole. So that's why I say thank you to the guy on the right. I remember it was a Mercedes and I was expecting that Mercedes to crash me with rightful indignation, you know? But he didn't, so I love that guy. I know he then changed to the right lane because I remember what happened. I'm not a stone. I remember he went to the right. So I gave him the space, kind of like saying, if you want to take it, I took it before. So you can take it now. But at the end, people here in Australia are cool, man. I'm loving it here. I can see that people in the cars are more aggro. Please, if you're experiencing something similar in the car, I don't know, think about it. People are just more aggro because their rights have been taken from them. My right to kill at calls closer to the other motherfucker to make him go faster but in a gentleman way as we used to do in England is all accepted so they have taken our rights so I'll take a left I'll see you later alligator don't forget the toilet paper